Hi lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked and welcome to your weekly reading for August 22nd through August 28th of 2016. It is the last full week of August. On August 30th, Mercury will be officially um, going retrograde. Um, I, or does it station direct that day? One of the two. Um, but that is the official date of Mercury retrograde is August 30th. Um, so we're going to be reworking, redoing, rethinking all of those rewords and things. So, um, this week I wanted to just get a message for our best and highest good. I invite your ancestors, your angels, your guides, um, your loved ones in spirit to be here with me as I do this reading, um, so that we get a message, something that we can work with, something to watch out for, um, where are we going, what do we, you know, where are we moving towards, where did we come from last week, um, you know, what, just what is going on, so just a message, um, from them, I invite them to be here with me now. This week, I will be using my new Tarot Apocalypsis. I just did the unboxing of it. Um, if you guys want to check it out, it's stunning. Just stunning. Um, and as someone who was never called to Tarot Illuminati, and for me to love this, it's amazing. It's just so good. It's so good. You guys have to check it out. Um, but that's the tarot deck I will be using this week. And I will be also using the Earth Power Oracle by Stacey DeMarco and Blue Angel Publishing. Um, I really feel that these two decks will work so positively together, so great together. Um, Tarot Apocalypse is honoring um, so many different types of cultures so beautifully, I think, um, in this deck. I love the artwork, and I just really feel like we're going to be talking about, like, past life connection stuff. I've just been so called to it more and more and more and more and more, um, and that's just the feel I get from this tarot deck. So, um, yeah, let's see um, what general thing that anybody who's watching this video, whenever they're watching this video... What is a general theme that we may all have running through our past lives that is affecting us right now um, that we can work with and, and be aware of? Um, and for the upcoming week ahead, something that we can put into practice this week for our best and highest good. If it's letting go of anything, we're just coming out of the full moon on the 18th. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'll use the shadow card as well for this. I feel like this is talking about love, people. Love. And love is inherent um, in all living things, in all creatures, in all humans. Um, very interesting. I'll say... Um, the general theme of this reading is indecision. And um, we have the two of swords as our shadow card and thinking about what is the best thing to do? Should I stay with this person? Should I go? Um, what is the best way to meet my needs in the relationship? Am I meeting their needs? Are they not? Am I not meeting theirs? Um, and that some of you may even be very analytical and um, strategizing the best way to make the relationship work or strategizing um, maybe even how to take advantage of somebody or maybe somebody strategizing how they can take advantage of you um, using you and your loving heart. Um, you know, moving the chess piece to the right or to the left. Um, very interesting. And the reason I say this has to do with love is the way it's laid we have the lovers, the five of swords, and then the king of swords and the queen of swords. So normally I wouldn't say this is about a couple, but with the lovers, the indecision of the two of swords and the king and the queen of swords, um, both of you going through this analytical um, strategy um, 
thinking process of about love in general or about your mate um, in the current relationship you're in or maybe the relationship you'd like to have in the future. Maybe you're coming out of a negative relationship um, or re I shouldn't say negative relationship, just a relationship where your needs or their needs were not being met for whatever reason. Um, we have the lovers reversed. So something wasn't gelling, something isn't gelling, um, something's just not working. Maybe one is giving too much, the other is not giving enough. Um, maybe you're on one vibration and they're on another vibration. And not to say you can't mix with people of different vibrations, but it may just not work in a um, romantic relationship kind of way. Um, maybe you feel like they're trying to bring you down and you want to like say, hey, come up, come away with me. Um, this also could be about having, you know, reality smack you in the face a little bit, coming back to earth. Um, that, you know, we all go through the honeymoon stage of a relationship and maybe, um, you're coming out of that honeymoon stage, you know, and it's just not, um, what you originally felt. Maybe your feelings have shifted or their feelings have shifted or you felt that their feelings have shifted, um, and, or yours have, and you don't know how to communicate that. And maybe there's a need to communicate that. Um, we have the Five of Swords, and to me, um, somebody may not be honest with you. Um, you may feel a little intimidated, a little scared to use your voice. Um, and maybe even that this person that you're in a relationship with, or even you, um, or like I said, this could be a past relationship or a past life thing that's coming up again, um, that they're not really being the person you need them to be. Maybe they're a little rowdy. Maybe they um, aren't the most honest people person. Um, maybe they like to go out and party a lot and say they're with their friend or still at work and they're not. Um, really just somebody that doesn't make you feel safe. Uh, maybe they're good to have fun with and to be wild with and have some crazy fun with. And um, maybe they're a rebound or a good way to rebel. Um, but they're not giving you, with, as seen with this lover's reversed, they're not giving you what you need. But you're still thinking about it. Indecision. Thinking about it. Then we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So again, I think this just represents the couple. Um, and both of you trying to, you like things the way that you like them. You're very analytical. Um, you're very, um, intelligent, very intellectual. Um, and again, the, the word just strategizing keeps coming up to me over and over and over again. Um, and that both of you know that you could make it on your own. Um, and you have such strong ideas that sometimes they clash because you believe your idea is the best and you try to communicate that. Um, I also think this may be a message that for both of you to try and get out of your head so much if you want to make the relationship work. Um, stop thinking about what you want to say and actually say it or stop you know, going over in your head replaying the same situation or how you feel about the situation when you really just need to communicate and tell the person. Talk to them. Um, What are the underlying messages that you're not seeing? And is this person somebody who's better off? Are they part of the pack? Are they a leader of the pack? Or are they better off um, as the lone wolf? Or just maybe an acquaintance, just a friend, somebody you see or hang out with every once in a while. Um, lots of mental stuff going on this week. That may be coming up. Let's see what the Earth Power Oracle has to say about it. Hmm. Tan a lot. I've I don't I've never received this card from this deck before, so um, I can't really tell you about the place. But what the card says is the places in between. Two of Swords, indecision, the places in between are important for my growth. I can release myself from worry and suffering if I choose. Okay? 
I now let go of all that no longer serves me. So if this strategizing, this thinking isn't about how to make the relationship work and you feel like somebody is intentionally trying to sabotage you or your happiness or, um, yeah, just trying to take advantage of you. If that's how you feel, then it's okay to let go of what's no longer serving you because that is not serving you, honey. If you feel like um, you've outgrown this person, let them go. Let them know um, so they can move on and, and continue to grow. But the state of indecision, the state of figuring out what to do, what is for your best and highest good, is it something um, that you can work to still build? Because remember, any card that is reversed, you can turn upright. You can make the lovers upright if you choose. But that's only if this queen of swords... Uh, the light has changed. Sorry, you guys. This queen of swords and this king of swords can come to a compromise and agreement and learn how to speak to each other. She doesn't need to be so cold and he doesn't need to be so um, off by himself, lone wolf, analytical. Um, they really need to bring some warmth. I feel like this relationship has a lot of cold steel right now. So to bring some warmth and love to this relationship um, because there are some places in this deck um, the Earth Power Oracle that are very cold and with all these swords cards, all of the steel, it's very cold. But then for the ten a lot, it looks like somewhere in um, Asia maybe or Eurasia, Asia, um, and it's very warm. The grass is green. Um, so to bring warmth to the relationship, if it's something that you'd like to hold on to, but again, it says... Um, the places in between are important for my growth. So really take this time this week to think about it. Again, like I said in the beginning of this video, we're coming into Mercury retrograde. So I'm um, reworking, rethinking, redoing, strategizing, planning, thinking um, how you can make it better. Is it worth it to save? Can you go about it in a new way? Um, but I'm Arielle, and this has been Maven Unmasked with your weekly reading for August 22nd through August 28th of 2016. If you enjoyed this reading and you'd like to get a personalized reading with me, remember these readings are general readings. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, please um, check out my Etsy shop. All of the links um, are below in the description box of this video, as well as ways to connect with me on social media. Have a great week, lovelies. Enjoy the last week of August. For all of you who are getting children ready for school, good luck to you and um just stay beautiful bye lovelies